octopus balls. Didn't know octopus had balls. <laughs> octopus have got big fucking balls. Tiny penises though. Big balls. Tiny little cocks. I opened a sandwich shop to turn the sandwich into something that could be a proper meal, not just something that comes with a free Coke and a pack of crisps from some shit supermarket. Hello. Hello. As long as it's slapped between two bits of bread, the whole planet's cuisine is open to me. Sandwiches, drinkages. I want to come up with new stuff to put on my menu. The best way for me to do that is to meet people from different cultures all over Britain and for them to teach me about a nation's cuisine. Well, I go on the sandwich shop. They've hung up. That happens all the time when I say wag wag in the sandwich shop. <laughs> I really love Korean food and I really want to put a Korean sandwich on the menu. But two years ago I tried to make kimchi and it's been a freaking disaster. I've actually forgotten about one of the buckets and we have it downstairs quite genuinely. It's two years old. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 I don't want to... I think it's all right. We should have... Oh, you don't want to drop out the box. Look, is there kimchi jizz? <laughs> oh. Free kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> well, it tastes quite weird. It's got something though. Yeah, it's like, I the it's got an STD or yeah. something. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I do need to learn to make kimchi. How am I going to make a Korean sandwich? I guess the truth is I'm going to have to find out how they make their food properly. <laughs> London, Korea town. Where is it? Here we go. New Malden is a suburb in southwest London. Where Kings estimates of the Korean population range from 8,000 to as high as 20,000 people. New Malden is definitely where I actually need to go to yeah. find out about making Korean stuff. One of the best Korean barbecue restaurants in New Malden is Chingo Gay. So I've hooked up with Nicole, one of the owners, to go exploring around Koreatown. So uh, what is Bing Su? Pingsu is like a dessert cafe, be any kind of like sweet desserts. Thank wow. you. It's basically turning back into milk in yeah, your mouth, it isn't it? It actually melts in your mouth. Mm. Oh, look. Hey. We have a, a buffet. buffet. KFC. <laughs> it's a misnomer that everyone yeah. thinks KFC, oh, KFC is Kentucky it's Fried Chicken, Korean it's Korean fried, fried Chicken. So I'm going to teach you a few words in Korean because the bakery, they don't speak English. All right, go on. So how do, how, how do I say hello? So hello would be 안녕하세요. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Check me out. Check me out. Completely rejected. <laughs> Not even a wife. Thank you. Annyeonghaseyo. Yes. I'm bossing my Korean. And now, time for lunch, right? So we're gonna go to Chingoge, the ultimate Korean barbecue experience. Yes. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> At my place. <laughs> it's a family-run restaurant. All four of us all chip in, and, and now me and my sister actually take over it. You always find kimchi on every table in every household in Korea. This one that you've just picked up is a cucumber kimchi called oi kimchi. Oi kimchi. Yeah, we oi is cucumber. So once the meat is grilled, we get our lettuce. Thank you. We take our meat and then we add the spring onion salad, a little bit, hajori. Do you like your spicy? Yes. Put a bit of samjang like that. Yeah, uh, and then try to wrap it in one go. Like this. Fingers all good? Yeah, you gotta use your fingers. Damn right. I'm just gonna stuff that in. Yeah. Like right Pretty now. Much. Good. Nice one. Mm. When I'm making my sandwiches, mm. I try to do exactly the same thing. Every bite someone has of the sandwich contains every element of the dish. What I'm thinking about looking at everything we have here, how do I approach mm. converting this into a sarni? Korean food is so traditional and it always has to have a really good balance, almost like a yin and yin yang, and it needs to have the five elements, sour, bitter, sweet, spicy and salty. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. infusing that all so, together and making a meal, if that hits all those spots, you've got a winner. I think that is the metaphor for how I should approach making my Korean sandwich. Can't wait. Yeah, no, I got, <laughs> neither can I. Although, hold your horses because there's still plenty of time for me to cock it up. Can 
completely. I want to start plotting out what I'm going to put in this sarni. Samjang mayo, mm. rice cake in some way, and a burnt veg and kimchi slaw with dried squid and a Korean dressing we can figure out. This is a <laughs> blueprint of something that might turn out to be well, well nice. Mm. Whoa, what have we got here? Crabs. Well, I'm not going to put, to be honest, I'm not going to put the crab in the sarni. Don't you think we're quite sweet pushing this trolley together? Look what I found. Ooh. This is a big challenge. Squid jerky. Squid jerky. Instant noodle. Plenty of options for oh, crunch. Missing. Oh. <laughs> I am going to write my list of the things that I require a sandwich to have. That's my ones. The Koreans have bitter, sweet, salty, sour, and spicy. Let's start. It's got to have kimchi. Kimchi deals with sour and salty and spicy. And then I also have crunchy and cold off my list. It's all from kimchi. Hang on, hang on, that's it. Job's done, mate. I'll make the kimchi sandwich. <laughs> I have an extraordinary amount of thinking to do beyond the realms of kimchi for my Korean sandwich. So I am going to get up and fuck off into the kitchen and think about how to actually make a really delicious Korean sandwich faithful to all the things I've learned. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get the short ribs out. <laughs> So these have been in the oven now, probably two and a bit hours. I mean, look at the bone on that bad boy. I've burnt some tomatoes, burnt onions, burnt spring onions. I really want to get that same barbecue flavour into the meat in the sandwich, like the hot element of the sarni, really, without actually barbecuing anything, because it's completely impractical. I want to do a really acidic slaw. Dressing for this slaw. Fish sauce, lime juice, Korean apple vinegar, sesame oil. I'm going to make it and then leave it for a couple of hours so the salt and the sugar really start to break down the veg. It smells fucking amazing. I don't, that, have a little look in here. Can you see in there? So it's all the burnt veg. Chicken looks pretty Korean. Yes! I want to figure out how to put rice or noodles in a sandwich because I think it's like the last thing anybody would think you could put in a sandwich. <laughs> Rice. The woman in the shop over the road just told me that she thought I might be able to make puff ice by just chucking some rice into the fryer. So I'm going to chuck some rice in the fryer. To be honest, it does seem quite stupid to do this. But there's definitely nothing happening there. It's done none of the things I would have wanted it to have done. I've been completely unresponsive. It's been like 80% of my first dates. <laughs> Plan B, well, I happen to have some noodles here that also aren't cooked, that are probably a disaster. I'm fucking throw that in there and see what happens. What did we say these were? Sweet potato starch noodles. I love chucking shit in the fryer. I'll tell you what, fuck it. Whoa! Something amazing's actually happened. Shit, the bed! The <laughs> this is gonna look so set up. I had no idea that was gonna happen. <laughs> Fuck my ass, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Whoa. Whoa. Look an animation. What else can we deep fry? Instant ramen noodles. Quite frankly, I'm actually starting to become a little bit pleased with myself and less nervous. I'm gonna make a sneaky one and try it to see if it's shit. So I can fiddle with it if needs be. It's not even looking quite naughty already. It's good. I think I've done myself proud. First up, mayo. A big layer of short rib on the bottom, then instant noodles, deep fried. I break that all over the meat. Then kimchi. Then this is the slaw slash salad I've made. Now the only thing left is our mega noodles we've made completely by accident. And then, um, 
And then, yeah, this, this is the sandwich. Yeah. It hits all the five Korean Korean elements as the same as yours. Bitter, spicy, sour, sweet, salty. spicy, salty. Mm. Yeah. They're all in it. Wow. This really hits the spot. Yeah? Yeah.